And let's just get this out of the way now, I am not Jonah Hill. I apologize for a lot of you who don't know me and maybe show up to see Jonah, but I am definitely not him. I'm also not Seth Rogen for that matter. And if you're really confused, I'm not Wolverine. Hands <laughs> <laughs> a little husky dude with nice sideburns and awesome hair. I'll tell you what, when Superman came out two years ago, I had curly hair and I wasn't able to grow facial hair, so it caused some serious problems. Two years later, I'm walking down Hollywood Boulevard in Taurus, and beautiful girls are still looking at me. I am Yaki. They're obviously not looking at me. They think they're looking at that guy from Knocked Up. They don't know which one, but it's one of them. <laughs> I kind of look back at them and I give them like a, you know what's going on? It's just me, Steve Sims, but it's actually really fun. <laughs> then there's the Chevron in Culver City, Jefferson and Oakland. I don't know if you've ever been there. It's kind of like a bar store here up here. Um, far away. But I go there a lot because the guy loves me. He gives me so many free car washes. He's a big fan of Accepted. I walk in there and he's like, dude, I loved it. Ask me about the wiener. I'm like, that wasn't me. I drive a Ford Focus. Next thing you know, I got a double thing of wax and rain X treatment. It's money, baby. So I apologize if you came out here expecting Jonah Hill or another funny fat guy from an Avatar film, but it's just me, Steve Sims. Anyway, we had an awesome, awesome, awesome night. How are you doing? I love you. I love you and I want to have babies. Listen, I just explained, I'm not Jonah Hill. Oh. I know who you are. <laughs> You're that guy with that sexy hair, those broad shoulders, that keg-like body. <laughs> A lot of commotion. Shh. <laughs> George, who do you think I am? Uh, Norm, cheers. Go! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not George lady. You lost your mind. What? It's Steve Sims. The I.O. It's not him. Let's get the fuck out of here. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Anyway, we have a great show for you tonight. We're going to roll into a sketch right now called The American Diet, where I play a Billy Mays type guy who also has his own company called The American Diet about gaining weight. And this wonderful cast here is going to play a bunch of obese Americans who love food. So enjoy. <laughs> you gain how much weight on The All-American Diet? We gained 240,000 pounds. That is fantastic. And you did nothing but read my book, The All-American Diet, Live Your Life, Eat What You Want, Whatever You Want, All the Time. We just ate and ate and ate, and now we're more natural and beautiful than ever. That is fantastic. It was fantastic. We had cheese steaks, cheese sticks, mm. cheese puffs, cheese pizza, <laughs> chicken. <laughs> this is so great. We've never been happier. That's wonderful. I'd love to see you guys happy. Folks, you can change your life right now by hopping on the bandwagon and joining the All-American Diet. Just ask these satisfied customers. I hit rock bottom. I was out of control. I was out of love. And I was out of work. That's when I found the All-American Diet on my TV. Now my arteries are being raped every day by pure baby grease. <laughs> which is the closest thing I've had to sexual activity in years. Thanks, All-American Diet. <laughs> the All-American Diet. Hell yeah, it saved my life. I mean, it, it didn't. It is physically killing me. I will die from this diet. Look, <laughs> my girlfriend left me. I got no reason to live. So if I want to put mashed potatoes on my cereal, I'm going to do it, Tammy. I'm gonna do it. I will eat myself to death. Save your canola bars and your tofu. I used to oh, be. I used to be a cheerleader. I was sleeping with every starting quarterback from here to Van Nuys. One day I woke up after a particularly rough gangbang and I said, I feel slutty and bad about myself. So I decided to replace those daddy issues with chicken wings. And now those guys won't even look in my general direction. Thanks, All American Diet. Take it from me, Gary Gouchard. I've been living the all-American diet my entire life. It brings me nothing but hope, happiness, and five major bypass surgeries. Five major bypass surgeries. Trust me, it's the way to go. Look at these people. Come on, folks. Call now. The All-American Diet. 1-800-THE-ALL-AMERICAN DIET. Live your life your way. Be fat. Call now and receive five buy one, get one free beef and cheddar milk coupons from Arby's. The official sponsor of Gary Gouchard's All-American Diet. They're big, they're cheesy, and they're just what you need to kickstart your all-American diet. 
The All-American Diet isn't responsible for the gout, oil, severe anal bleeding, headaches, or corneas. Please hear a doctor if you spend your entire life eating healthy or never touch red meat. <laughs> Tired of dog crap Facebook and that rubbish sheep called MySpace? Yeah. Do their <laughs> threats of owning material you upload scare you? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you just want to dropkick that jerk who invented those stupid blurry letter security checks? Yeah. Does Twitter make you want to buy a gun and shoot someone in the face? <laughs> Well, if you answer yes on a three out of four of those questions, then you need to consider Spacebook. I said, then you need to consider Spacebook. I heard you, all right? Then why aren't you considering Spacebook? Twitter's all right, man. I got some good stuff on there. Wrong! You should consider Spacebook. Because Facebook is dead, Twitter is on its way out, and MySpace, well, MySpace just plain sucks. Facebook is the only online community that allows you to teleport anyone from anywhere in the world. <laughs> Interested in that hot cheerleader who smiled at you in class? Add her on Facebook, and you can uh, have her teleport her right on your lap. It's the best illegal thing to hit the web since Napster. Who needs the space-time continuum when you've got Facebook? <laughs> wow, this Facebook sounds great. That's because it's awesome. See for yourself. Not Jennifer Aniston. I'm mad Jennifer Aniston. From Friends. Friendship, Tennessee. <laughs> you got a crack? <laughs> hey, Ronnie. Cool room. Hey, Brenda. So I brought over the math homework if you want to copy it. Double sweet, thanks. Hey, is this your mom? Hi, I'm Brenda. <laughs> this bitch ain't my baby. I'm getting your clothes, bitch. Jeez, Ronnie, your mom is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, who is she? Friendship, Tennessee! You got any lubes? Sign up for Spacebook today and enjoy such features as live in-person chat rooms, stopping a bullet, virtual sex that is real and really happening in your bedroom, and more! MySpace, Facebook, Twitter? Who needs them? Bonjour! Shall I clean or blow you first? Facebook, there's certainly nothing like it. <laughs> Three notes, the magic number, yeah it is, it's the magic number, somewhere in that ancient mystic trinity. Thank <laughs> you. 